Hey everybody, Brian Sonic here again. Oh, hold the WWE 2K22. The time is finally here. They took a long time off because as you've probably heard by now, WWE 2K20 was not very good. So they had to basically skip 2K21 altogether. They did put out a game called Battlegrounds, very arcadey, didn't sell very well. It's probably never happening again, which is a shame because I think there was a foundation they could have built on. But hey, enough about that. This is the brand new, full-fledged WWE 2K22. Talking about some of the things that are new in WWE 2K22. And for the first time, I believe, since SmackDown vs. Raw 2008, we have a MyGM mode again. And that's, well, as you can see from the title of the video, that's what this particular video is about. So let's get into it. A general manager for the greatest sports video package of course because WWE I've been in this industry my whole life seen many come and go and now here you are taking your first step into the mix tell me what are you looking for fame glory prestige what kind of a general manager will you become have you thought about that Will you be a fair and balanced overseer? Or maybe you'll rule your roster with an iron fist. Either way, one thing you need to do is make impact. I didn't start my career in the WWE as a general manager like you are. <laughs> Stephanie! To earn my spot through years and years of dedication to this business. But you, you still have so much to prove. You would not have been given this opportunity if we didn't see your potential. You must understand, 200 plus days a year we're on the road to entertain the WWE Universe. Some careers are long, others aren't quite as lucky. But if you respect our business, if you love our business, then even you could become a legend one day. So are you ready? It's time to prove you deserve this chance. An opportunity that you can't let slip through your fingers. You must earn it. You must pay your dues. So I have to ask again, what kind of general manager will you become? Let's see if you have what it takes to be my GM. Nobody said they couldn't do video package. Oh, now this is interesting. <laughs> but you can tell uh, two of these people have been future endeavored already in William Regal and Shane McMahon, which is, I mean, very crazy. But the, the roster cuts over the past year, year and a half have been just wild. If you had asked me for two people that I would almost guarantee would still be with this company uh, you know, a year ago, I'd have said absolutely Shane McMahon because he's a McMahon and William Regal because he's been there for ever but they are just cutting all kinds of people loose and i'm sure with the way you know the stuff stuff's got to get done you got to put the game out and so some of this stuff had to be locked in way early hmm. let me see well, let's see what their abilities do as much as you can understand what they even do before you've played the game A unique power card that only they have access to. For inst for example, here, uh, Instigator increases the levels of all active rivalries by one. Seems decent. But so, yeah, I guess you really got to get into it before you realize which of these is powerful and which is blah. Raising the entire roster's morale seems good. Legends, you know, free wrestlers, probably good. But again, you really, as I said, got to try to figure out how you want to play. There still is going to be a lot of depth to this. I'm glad they brought the mode back. Additional two uh, bonus and be for, oh, GMs can interfere. Okay. Stephanie talked about ruling with an iron fist. We're trying to think which one of these will be the most fun, maybe, to... See, earn twice as much money from arena attendance. Money is good. Also, 
I think we're going to try Adam Pierce. Increase the levels of all active rivalries. See if any of this stuff combos with that. Three round of superstars cannot be booked in matches next week. Can't be used week before a pay per view because that that'd be rude. Smackdown. Mm -hmm. I don't think I'm doing NXT. That just feels a little weird to me. Oh well, let me see what their bonuses are before I decide. Title matches will receive a large match rating boost. Now, for a while, NXT really was the best brand they had going, but, you know, the budget cuts. NXT International. The deal is tripled if you gain fans. That's how you can make a lot of money off of that, but let's go ahead and just... I think I'll go SmackDown. We'll do AI opponent, obviously. William Regal, because I still want William Regal to be a part of this. That's very normal difficulty, I would say. Well, we get to draft. All right. Seems good. It's going to be it's upsetting if I'm on SmackDown and I can't beat NXT UK. And also, as you can see, the uh, wrestlers each have a different class type, and each class type has better matches with another class type. Although specialists like Becky Lynch can put on good matches with anybody. So specialists are actually very valuable. I've done the teensiest bit of research before I started taping all this stuff. This is the most popular around here. That's probably the first thing we want to do. Hmm. Yes. I guess the draft. I guess the list of the people that you draft is just random because I've seen John Cena in here before. I don't see Cena right now. I've seen Lesnar. See, I guess it's randomized, and then other people will show up as free agents, legends, what have you. So let's get this show on the road. I'll do Drew McIntyre. And of course, they took Becky Lynch. I wanted to get Becky Lynch. You know, you don't always get what you want. Let me go ahead. And you also make sure you have balance between men and women because the fans like a variety of shows, just like we do in real life. I'm going to go with Charlotte. That, to me, is a solid foundation for a roster. Now I want to find somebody, I believe, uh, let's see, yeah, Drew is a fighter, I believe fighters uh, pair well with bruisers. Yep, like so, they're telling me MVP, but they, they really? <laughs> MVP? I respectfully disagree. It's got to be another heel bruiser out there, a little more power, and I love MVP, you understand. Maybe they're hidden, I don't know. Also, specialists can throw it out with anybody. In mind, let's. I'm gonna make Dolph Ziggler the third pick. I don't feel like I do. But... All right, Dolph Ziggler. That doesn't feel right, but for the purpose of putting on matches, I guess it's I. Right. Can't really let Asuka sit up there too long. Asuka! Huge Asuka fan. All right. Let's get Nia Jax. Try to get that good all-rounded roster. Roger's getting very bruiser heavy. Got to mix it up a little bit. Me and the fan are like, actually, you can search by class.
Be the cruiserweight. I do believe. We can say fits that bill. I want this hour too, but you're just not gonna get everybody you want because it's a draft. King, King Nakamura? Do I not have a male giant? Let's get Braun Strowman. I think I would take Big E if they leave him up there. And I'm kind of kind of got a few bruisers already. Robert Roode specialist. I think I can have good matches with anybody. So. Titus! Uh, uh. <laughs> Randy Orton! King of Robert Randy Orton, right? Starting to run low on cash. Jeff Hardy, who has also been future endeavored. That's my draft. You can only drink, you know, you all got a limited budget, so you're not going to get all the superstars that you want. Tyler Bates. Computer will be finished here in just a second. We'll see what their rosters look like. I feel like my roster is better. I'm obviously biased. Let's get it. Now, remember, uh, my guy Adam Pierce is going to make all my rivalries go up by one because the fans like to see rivalries. I was born for this, Hunter. Choose the champion. We'll do Braun Strowman, who also is no longer with the roster. So people can get... Oh dear, I only draft three women. That's going to be a problem. I got to fix that in my early... I swear, I thought I drafted more women than that. Then I ran out of money. Be completely real to get make Charlotte the champion. Now in the journal here, you know, the commissioner has things that he wants to see you do. Like in this case, do not put Drew McIntyre in a match. Easy enough to do. And you'll get uh, power card awards for that. And power cards, you know, do all kinds of cool things. You can see here, you can send somebody to help spa when they're about to be injured or or I think you can still do it if they actually are injured that's the other thing you have to manage your stamina they can't go out there and take chair shots to the head every single week one of the ways you can do that is you can let them cut a promo so they still if they're popular people still get to see them but you don't have to worry about them getting injured as I mentioned you have to take into account what kind of class they are what kind of things the fans want to see, obviously, you know, you want to put faces against heels. You want to, again, match up the classes where you can. And wrestlers will ask you for things, you know, like, hey, prom you promised me a title match. You got to figure out, like, okay, you're going to be able to keep those promises or you got to you gotta do what's best for the show. You ideally want a strong opener and a strong main event so people remember, hey, the show got to a good start. And it had a great finish. You got something that you feel like might be crappy, you stick that in the middle. You you know how this works. You've watched wrestling before, I'm assuming, if you're watching a video about a deep dive on... If you're watching General Manager Mode in WWE 2K22 and you're not a wrestling fan, I have multiple questions. But even if you, even if you are doing that, by all means, you know, 
If you like, comment, subscribe if you want us to know what's going on with WWE 2K and, and a lot of other games. I play Madden also. We play all different kinds. Of, I'm a variety YouTuber, basically. I do a lot of sports, but I do a lot of other stuff as well. Anyway, see, remember Triple H does not want me to book Drew McIntyre. All right. First, let's figure out what kind of main event we're going to have. Let's throw the title out there. Braun Strowman. He can match up well with the Cruiserweight. So let's get him one of those to go against. Jeff Hardy. The fans love Jeff Hardy always. Title match on. Click save on that. Seems good. Put it in the bag. One strong opening match, as I mentioned. Had title on the line at the beginning, too. Let's uh, throw Charlotte out there and give her a matchup with Oscar. Because, again, Charlotte is a specialist. She can put on a good match with anybody. on let's have uh, the only other woman on the roster let's have Naya come in and interfere on Asuka I think it makes the most sense since Naya's being a bad girl right now that seems good Mid card, I say you kind of do like <laughs> it's what's left out there. Do Big E and Randy Orton with no real stipulation or anything because hey, let's save a little bit of money at the beginning. As I mentioned, you don't want to know your mid card match to outshine your main event or your opening match. Save that. Uh, if you got somebody, as I mentioned, needs to get on television, but you don't want to have them work a match, you can do a promo. To have King Nakamura do a promo, we'll save that. Oh, you start out in a high school gymnasium, because, well, you know, ain't got a whole lot of money yet. But I got money to spend right now, so well, actually, you don't unlock the stuff until later, so that's as good as that's going to get. Now I wonder what else, because I hate to just, I mean, I guess I could wait, save money, buy things later, maybe. Let's just see what, see what kind of start we get off to. Remember, all our rivalries are going to jump up by one, because our general manager is Adam Pierce. I've been simulating the matches. It's, no, not the whole show. And so let's just simulate this particular match. Charlotte wins. They had a great match, and so now we got rivalries with uh, Naya and Asuka. They loved King Nakamura's promo. He gained some popularity. Everything's going right so far. Simulate. It was a disappointing match, but hey, we didn't want it to outshine the, either of the Big event, so that's actually kind of cool. One, two, three. They love that match because, you know, title match, different classes. See what kind of matches uh, NXT had. Becky with an amazing match. Okay. The Cesaro promo was just okay. That's unfortunately surprisingly accurate. Odd tag match. Mediocre. You love to see it. Tyler Bate crushed his promo. Awesome. 
Main event, Dana and Peyton Royce, what of the TLC. We're going to go ahead and say that's some crap that would never happen on anybody's show, but more power to them. All right, so yeah, we, yeah, you can check individual match report to see how you did. That was a really good match. Don't have an established rivalry yet, but I think after this, they should. Oh, no, they didn't generate a rivalry. Okay. Interesting. Ordinary, I guess it's just random. Nothing, no rivalry generated there either. Go figure. But so when you get a rivalry, you definitely want to keep pumping that rivalry up. It's funny. They said this is a terrible match, yet somehow it generated a rivalry, and none of the matches I thought would be good did. Go figure. Then, of course, they got people, social media here, wrestlers and fans. And the fans will give you a clue if you're doing something wrong. Like, hey, uh, you know, for example, this guy says, I uh, love Jeff Hardy and Braun Strowman. Their classes are a perfect fit, which is only a thing a fan would ever say in a video game. But this is a video game. And as I get more money, I'll be able to upgrade the arena, upgrade the lighting, and you know the drill. Make everything look ever so much more better. Only slightly behind Commissioner Regal right now. Three weeks until WrestleMania backlash. See, here's one of the things I talked about. Asuka wants me to make a promise to her that she'll get a fight with Nia in the next three weeks. We can get that done. Get that done for you. I'm a fan of both of those athletes. So yeah, now we got more bigger arena, better lighting, more advertising, and more money. More money. What does Triple H want me to do this week? Book your least popular available star for a match. We're going to put that in the middle of the card, obviously. Because it's the least popular star. That is, unfortunately, it's Ricochet. Sorry, buddy. He's a cruiserweight, so uh, let's give him Braun Strowman. So you get these hands. We'll save that one. Again, want some fire at the top of the card and something fire at the end, really. See, I told Nia she could have a match with Oscar, or I told Oscar she could have a match with Nia. See, they told me I would get better rivalries, so I thought these things were going to start at level two, which is why I picked Adam Pierce. Not completely understanding what's happening there, but we're going to go with it. I definitely need to sign some more female talent. I can get this lady permanently for 30000 I may end up doing that. And then just try and do things to make them more popular. Yeah, because they did not put a whole lot of women into the uh, talent pool here. Yeah, I can get this giant lady for 10 weeks for 26000 Or, you know, we just... 
And I got an IS. So I can really use a cruiserweight. We're going to get the permanent tomorrow at Ty Cross for 30000 Then we'll just work on making her more popular. I think the rest of the roster is probably okay. Get back to booking this show. Hmm, can I turn Oscar and Nia into a main event? I believe I can. Let's make it a table match. Save that. Start the show with, um, let's see, how? I have no idea. Who else has a rivalry? Lucky Orton and uh, Big E have a rivalry, so. Let's do that. Start with Extreme Rules. Looking good so far. Let's give somebody a promo. Robert Roode seems good. Keep him interested. Then we can uh, buy some of this other cool stuff for the roster. I'm playing a concert hall now. There's another bonus here. As you can see, uh, if I book two level one or higher or yeah, we're just going to book one level one or higher rivalry. The show will get 5% better. I'm going to keep stacking those bonuses so you hopefully get 100%. I don't know if it go over 100%. I'll keep stacking and see if it can. Backstage crew, I've already met their bonus. Book special match types and run-ins. Basic lights? Well, let's get. But yeah, basic lights and pyro. All right, do we need some advertising? Cameo appearances? We're starting to get low on money, so I. Th oh, let's see. Any power cards I can use? Oh, here's where his thing increases the level of all active rivalries. I see. And he can do that once a week. I get it now. That's way better because you want to get the rivalries going fast because the, obviously the more, the more of a rivalry is, the better a match it's going to be. Now I understand. Let's go ahead and increase uh, six people's popularity at random. Drew McIntyre, Randy Orton. That couldn't have gone better. Fix match. That's nice. <clears throat> Excuse me. I am a WWE general manager after all. Red of this looks good. Good opener. So, so, I mean, not terrible mid card, but a little something, something. Pumped up the rivalry. So, let's see what this looks like now. One, two, three. Orton and Big E, what you got for me? Big E with the win. Amazing match. Okay. Start as we mean to go on. Bobby Roode with your promo. It kind of sucked. Sorry, Bobby. Our mid-card match. One, two, three. It was good. Okay, we can deal with good because it didn't outshine the didn't outshine the opener. Now give us some Oscar and Naya. Oh, oh, that was unfortunate. We'll simulate their show. I'm worried about my show right now. I didn't know Asuka and Naya was going to be 
Blah. <laughs> I, I didn't expect Ricochet and Braun Strowman to be, but again, the, the class thing. Check the match report. Ricochet humbled by Braun Strowman. But as we're simply going to say, he caught these hands. For the, they, they really hype up the combination of wrestling classes. But now they got a rivalry, so I mean, I got to keep uh, throwing them together, I think. Starting Raw with an Extreme Rules match or SmackDown. When have you ever seen that happen? But do what we gotta do. Picked up fans, made money. Got us a new female superstar. We're relatively close to NXT. Two weeks until the unfortunately named WrestleMania backlash. I know, I know. Jeff Hart's let me know he's in North Carolina. He expects to wrestle tonight. I forgot I had promised Asuka something. And she did tell me she'd get the win. See what Triple H wants now. And a new, more new stuff available. New ring crew. New, uh, new arena to be in. Schedule a run in. I can totally do that. Randy Orton has a talent for extreme rules matches. Let's give him another. I, I don't know if there's a penalty for doing the same type of match over and over again. So let's find that out together, shall we? Extreme rules. Randy Orton, you know, it's got to be Big E now. Well, they said schedule a run in, I believe, if I remember correctly. We can do that right now. I forgot to save the match. Again, Randy Orton. Again, Big E. Again, Extreme Rules. Save match this time. Outshine that mid card. Let's uh, go with Oscar and Nia again. Keep their rivalry going. I'm thinking because they have a rivalry, they'll probably just uh, probably hopefully just have a good match because they got a level two rivalry. We we shall see. All right, normal match. This could be where I put the run in. She's also a fan. I got nothing but fan favorites. <laughs> Let's have Charlotte run in and jump. Asuka, I guess, seems like a plan. Say that match should make that more exciting. Also, mid card, just whatever other garbage I promised people. Go Braun Strowman and Ricochet again and not do anything crazy so it doesn't outshine any of the other two matches. We shall save that one. And, okay, I think we're the price of anything else. I don't think, oh, let me see. Power card. 
Does he only get one of those power cards? Did I pick him to get one advantage one time? Looks like I did. I thought he'd get that every week. My bad. I guess you're saying it'd be broken if he could just up rivalries every week for free. Aight, aight. Did I give Bobby Roode another chance? Let's try it. This all looks good. Book it! Oh, wait. I keep forgetting to use my logistics. I got a bunch of people I can send to the moon. Let's uh, let's really try to pump Bobby Roode. Cause I actually like Robert Roode. I'm a huge TNA slash uh, Impact or whatever it's called this week fan. Now we book it. Let's see how this went. Nia wins? Oh, mediocre start. That's not good. That's real bad. I knew Robert Roo could do it. Watch, they're going to outshine the opener. One, two, three. Yep. And their rivalry grew. Now, I hope my main event destroys. We got a good class matchup. We got, uh, this is a match that Orton is apparently very good at. One, Let's simulate this. Three. They loved that match. So the main event was good. There's kind of a small selection of match types considering all the ridiculous things you can do in WWE. I don't know if you unlock any more. We'll simulate their entire show. Yeah, I didn't mean for the mid card to do that. I guess it's just if the class matchup is bad, you're going to have problems, it looks like. I'll keep that in mind for future reference. Let's check the match report. They really are obsessed with that, those class matchups. They're giving plan of workers by the general manager, though. That's what's important, really. An amazing match. That's how you do that. I'm good at this, kind of. I got to figure out how to start some new rivalries. Because that's really what the fans want to see. Oh, I forgot to put Jeff Hardy on the card. Oh... He's gonna that's my bad. I forgot to put Jeff Hardy on there in, in his hometown. It's, oh I'll hear about that probably. They're real close in but actually made more money. They still have a few more fans, but I'm gaining. One week until WrestleMania backlash. Yeah, yeah, I know. Okay. We're going to stop doing Asuka and, and Naya, apparently. I'm sorry, Jeff, and I feel like telling you I totally forgot to do that doesn't really help. That's uh, my bad. Let's uh, let's at least get him on the show. <laughs> Try to get his morale back up. I'm treating him like WWE. He actually treats Jeff Hardy. I'm sorry.
for Commissioner Gold this week, and your most popular available female fighter and bruiser fight each other. I can do that. Let's uh, let Jeff Hardy and Braun Strowman go at it. TLC. That should make Jeff happy. He likes getting hit in the head and tearing fall off of ladders because he's Jeff Hardy. And title on the line. What about that right there? Starting the match. With a TLC title, but you ain't ever seen that WWE. That'll boost his morale. I'm thinking. I might should make that the main event now. I think about it. I think I gotta put a put a match here, then they'll allow me to swap them out. Make sure that I promise anybody anything else. I don't think I did. No wait, Biggie expects to no wait. Don't quit. Now let's first get the matches, but don't worry about the arena and things. Main event, which will get get swapped for Jeff Hardy here in a moment, I'm thinking. They're tired of Nia and Asuka despite the rivalry. Let's give them more Big E and Orton. They love that. Save match. Swap with that match. Then uh, some garbage in the middle of the card somewhere. Let's get a women's match of some kind in there. To have the debut of uh, Tamara or Tamara Tycross. They're both uh, they're both fan favorites, but you know the the class matchup. There's a class matchup, and if it's terrible, it's in the middle of the card, so it doesn't matter nearly as much. Let's see if I can make use of one of my power cards. Nothing I need particularly right now, so we'll go ahead and I think. Uh, oh wait, no, cancel. Bonus for us at the Capital Center. Sweet. All right. Increase show quality here. Some more lights and pyro. All right, cameo appearances. Book one superstar with 50 popularity on promos. Or plus 50 popularity. We can do that. We can absolutely do that. Asuka's got uh, plus 50 popularity. Confirm, we ready. One, two, three. Okay, what kind of match did y'all put on? Great match, rivalry grows, that's good work. Asuka crushed her promo.
I mean, I did pick Tamara Ty Cross up off the street. Tell me about the big card. I'll chat anybody else this week. Good to know. <laughs> Amazing. Maybe Jeff will be happy now. Simulate the opposing show. Biggie Orton rivalry heated up. That's what I'm talking about. Good work right there. This match was a garbage fire. Yeah. Main event was great. Braun Strowman's getting real low on stamina. Got to give him a week off, looks like. Oh yeah, Tamra Tie Cross is bad. Uh, yeah. Sorry about that, y'all. We are neck and neck. I gotta make some big moves. Oh wow, Braun uh, is is real hurt, <laughs> and and we get the pay reviews tonight. That's an oops. <laughs> Dolph Ziggler, and Robert Roode to team up for a tag match. I, I think you're right. You would in fact make an awesome tag team. Let's see how that works out. All right. I got a pay-per-view and my champion is kind of hurt. These things, have, I think I got a power card for that, right? Uh, he's in bad shape. He, he's in bad, I didn't think about that. You, you gotta, this is, how, this is the way to get to hard. You gotta manage things. I forgot about his stamina in relation to the pay per view. I'm like an actual WWE executive. He'll be fine. Just tie his limbs back together with duct tape and good intentions. It's all good. Okay. I shouldn't run him out there 15 stamina. That'd be a terrible... T and they have no secondary titles either. It's just men's world championship, women's world championship. Which I guess is uh, not unlike the company right now. You remember when the Intercontinental Champion was the number one contender? That, that angle's been dropped for decades. Ah, oh, this is... This is problematic. You want to have a good pay-per-view. But you don't want to break your champion. Let's see if we can make Charlotte the main event. Is that thing we can do? I can try it. She never rivaled anybody even. My women's division is not crushing it. I'll put some chairs or something in the match. Charlotte Flair, Nia Jax, title match on, stream rules, have some interference. <laughs> Tamara tie cross is stupid and pointless, um, but hopefully it'll make the match better. Opener. Okay, get four matches for the pay-per-view. That's good. Let's do that tag team that Dolph Ziggler was talking about. Yeah. 
It feels familiar. See, how do they feel about that thing, you know, where you take two people that hate each other and make them a tag team? Do, do, do we get points for that? Do, do, do they like that around here? Let's see. They, they put work into this. If they acknowledge that I put a, put a tag together, two people that hate each other. I think it happens in wrestling all the time. Save that. That should probably should be the mid card, though. It probably should be just in case it doesn't work. And there's a fairly strong possibility it doesn't work. I'm really relying on them to know the rules of wrestling. Oh, did Triple H tell me anything to do this week? Surely he did. Big E said he wanted to work the pay-per-view. And I got to make sure Drew McIntyre fights. I guess that's what our mid card is for. They didn't say I had to make it good. That's a mid card match if ever I saw one. It is like totally apropos of nothing. Out of wrestlers. Good lord. Do I have to have? Let's see if I have to have four matches. I probably do. Let me see. It looks like I do because it's not letting me move on to the next thing. Sign a couple of legends and act like I have money to sign legends. So far, the show isn't costing anything. Too much. Mr. McMahon, for real. Let's get Jim the Apple Nightheart out there. I thought I was a big Jim the Apple Nightheart fan. Get him in the middle of that card. I have wait for him to fight, do I? Did I? I thought I booked King Nakamura. Did I not do that? I thought I had booked him. Apparently I didn't. Okay. Janelle and I hiring King Nakamura. It's not... It's not that much less random than actual WWE booking. Too many normal matches. Too many normal matches. To make that a tables match. And I apparently get a branded pay-per-view bonus for that. Okay. Cool. No, I said tables. Save match. Stream rules right there. See what I can do for uh, Jim the Evil Nightheart and King Nakamura. Um. If y'all will watch a whole night of table matches, I'll give you those. Confirm booking. Oh, I keep forgetting to do logistics every time. The WrestleMania Backlash Arena, and I'm almost out of money. We're using the really cheap road crew. Man, I can almost. All right, that, that's all I can do. Everything else has got to be free. 
Any power cards would help with this. Uh, wait, let me go ahead and heal Braun Strowman. And I should do that. Definitely increase his stamina. Aye, aye. Confirm booking. Fingers crossed. One, two, three. Oh, that sucked. They didn't give me bonus points for putting a heel in the face on the same tag team. WW2K don't know about that. One, two, three. I'm, I'm putting together a whole sucky pay-per-view. Ugh, I'm a real WWE general manager. One, two, three. I'll get better, I swear. This whole pay-per-view is trash. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. I will practice. I will get better at this. Oh, it's not as easy as it looks. This is, I, I already feel like I know how this is gonna go. One, two, three. Okay, we had exactly one good match. They're going to kick our ass on this paper. You already know. I'm just curious now. It ain't going to be hard. Yep, that's already better. One, two, three. Yep. Better. They're putting out okay matches, and they're better. They're kicking our ass in Dana Brooke matches. How is this not even allowed? One, two, three. <laughs> My own her made a bit where the high highlights of the pay per view. Just because everything kind of sucked, <laughs> they were the highlights. That's probably as good a place to end it. Listen, I will, I will update you. I will learn how to do this better. It's actually pretty fun, though. I'm glad they brought this mode back. With all that said, we'll be doing a bunch of more WWE 2K22 content that you can shake a clothesline at. So please like, share, comment, and subscribe.